Feminist Day is a way to celebrate International Women's Day weekend here in the Twin Cities. And joining us now, one of the founders of Feminist Day is Nora McInerney. Uh, Nora, this is a great idea. When you have this uh, Women's Day mm -hmm. where you think, like, all right, it's nice to honor it and draw awareness, but wh why don't we do something? Right, and why don't you do something in your community where you can have the most impact? So for the third year in a row, that's what we're doing. Mm -hmm. So tell us a little bit, what are we gonna see? You have the businesses, you have a market, you have all kinds of cool stuff going we on. We have so many things, and this has grown so much in three years, but Friday we have uh, an investment showcase where 100 people show up with $100 mm -hmm. that turns into a $10,000 investment. <laughs> Wow. for a starting oh, business. Oh, huh. Isn't that cool? Yeah. So it's really, truly showing up to support the community. Then all day Friday at the Coven in St. Paul, there are seminars, there's one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one mentorships. It's, mm -hmm. it's truly investing in this business community here in the Twin Cities because economic empowerment is so important. And the best part, in my opinion, is that Saturday night, there's a night market from five to 9 p.m. at the Palace Theater where you can shop so many amazing Minnesota makers and entrepreneurs and creators that you might not have heard of. Oh, how fun. You have experience ha running your own nonprofit, running your own business. Yeah. You are an entrepreneur. Uh, has, has the climate changed for women-owned businesses, or are you still facing the same obstacles that women were facing five years oh, ago? Oh, same obstacles women it's were facing same. five Think years ago. There's a lot of, there's like an attitudinal shift, right? Like, mm -hmm. yay, women, start some businesses. But when you look at the numbers, yeah. women are not given the same investment opportunities. And so I really do believe mm -hmm. in the ability of people individually showing up and extending that opportunity do to you, one another. Do you think some of this is there's this kind of attitude of like, cute. Oh, like, totally, that's totally. That's cute, like or so like, good. What's your real job? Like, right. no, this mm -hmm. is it. Is this your hobby? Right. Is this your hobby? And mm -hmm. for a lot of us, oh. like, no, this is this is a business. Yeah. This is a way for us to, you know, create a generational wealth for our mm -hmm. families mm -hmm. the same way that men have been doing forever. I mean, I think a lot of people know you from Still Kicking, mm -hmm. uh, which is which was started how many years ago? Uh, oh, we're coming up on our, we're about to have our fifth birthday. Right, about yeah. that. And yeah. so, I mean, it's just really created all kinds of awareness. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's just, a, it's an incredible thing that this is where these women get started and see kind of see where they can go. Yeah, through. and how did I start still kick in with a right. credit card, a very mm -hmm. high interest credit right. card because I, I just didn't know. You don't know what you don't know. And right. so you can show up to the Coven St. Paul mm -hmm. and and learn what you don't know from people who do and who right. are willing to share that knowledge. Awesome. We'll have all that information on our website, wcco.com slash link.